Good morning to Mike Apple for the latest in business news. And once again, we're going to start in the grocery store. Mike, um, are you a snacky guy? Do you like, you know? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to be yes, paying as, a little bit as, more. As, as, as Drake once said, I like my chips with the dip. Ah, did Mike <laughs> Apple just quote Drake right now? Yes, he did. This Thursday, February 2nd. I'm writing this down. Go. Yes, Mike. All yeah, right. No, no, you like your chips I'm with a, the I'm dip? A, I'm a plain chip guy, but I got anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, the, you know, the yeah. price isn't dipping. Let's say that. Yeah, no, going up. In <laughs> fact, uh, PepsiCo, good morning, Tammy. <laughs> Uh, PepsiCo uh, uh, is passing along its price increases to the grocery stores uh, by the sounds of things here uh, by upwards of 10 percent on Lay's chips and other snack food items. So this actually comes back and reinforces the argument that the grocers have been telling customers, hey, it's not us. We're not the ones raising prices. It's our suppliers. And, of course, you know, we've had this at the uh, the federal government level looking into grocery store price inflation, which, you know, it's <laughs> it's been, you know, 10, 11 percent for uh, so long now. And the next round of hearings are coming up in about a week. And now they've got something to go. Look, it's them, not us. And, you know, they, this argument continues. Another thing going up in price uh, today is, is uh, dairy uh, pr prices. They're up for the third time. Um, eggs might be coming down a little bit. Uh, the price is paid to. The farmers uh, dropping just a little bit uh, lately, but still, food price inflation, Tammy, big problem here yeah. and uh, continuing to get more expensive. It, it's getting worse and hitting the snacks now, too. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, and of course, with the dairy prices, like you said, uh, it's just making it worse and worse for people who are getting out there and just trying to put food on the table, of course. Uh, we'll move on to Meta. It looks like in pre-stock mm -hmm. or pre-trading now, the stocks have really jumped. Yeah, it's almost as if I'm on Facebook and scanning through Reels ad nauseum. No, the, the Reels are on Instagram. And, well, yeah, but you we'll can get, see uh, them we'll, through we'll get the it. Facebook. The Facebook. You know what? You like, quoted you app. quoted Drake, so I'm I'm good to go. It's fine. You can do whatever anyway. you want after that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they're somewhat addictive. Anyway, um, just like chips. Um, <laughs> Meta's earnings last year. Meta was crushed. Uh, Facebook, because, you know, uh, the the metaverse, that was going to be the next big thing. Hasn't really caught on. And and advertising revenue has dropped still. Um, their, their sales and profitability was down year over year. But what they did was they announced a $40 billion stock buyback. And because the tech stocks have been on such a momentum rally here, Tammy, Meta stock is up 18% in pre-market trading action this morning. It is on pace for one of its biggest days ever. Uh, later today, we'll get earnings from Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet, a trio of A-list companies. And will their earnings be grade A? We'll see how that goes. <laughs> These tech stocks have been on a, a big rally here for 2023 so far. Big role there. Okay, the U.S. Mm -hmm. Fed, as predicted yesterday, they have increased interest rates. But they did something a little different than we did here in Canada. Yeah, they, Jay Powell, the head of the U.S. Central Bank, said we're not done raising interest rates. Probably another one or two to go. But that, again, signals they're closer to the end than the beginning. And they're data dependent. So when we're looking at U.S. inflation and the job market and all these other things, those signals will be key to how many more interest rate increases. They sounded a little more dovish, to use market jargon, if you will. And investors like the sounds of that. And they're betting big. Again, tech stocks, Bitcoin, anything risk related is going up in the early trade today. Okay, and you said betting big, and you can bet big, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a special day to do it. You're not betting on, like, the, <laughs> the Super Bowl now, but a Super Bowl of weather. You can bet on anything. This, yeah. is, this is another indication you can bet on pretty much anything. I'm not going to uh, say which betting uh, platform or company is offering this, but you can bet on what the, uh, the ground hounds are going to be saying today. All right. Groundhogs. If you had and I'm, to... And I'm thinking, how hard is this? You look at the weather forecast and kind of, can see whether the sun's going to be up this morning in Puxatawney or Shubenacadie or Wyarton. That's true. Not and that difficult, is yes. it? Yeah. Um, so the, if you had to move, place the, a bet. Yes. I, again, I didn't check. I don't check. don't ask because I didn't I didn't look. No, no. And the I'm, only not thing saying, really interest, I'm not saying. I'm not saying right now we're looking at live is, uh, footage yes, of uh, okay, or there and some is. there's there Wyarton there. But so yeah, if you were to place a bet, you didn't look at the forecast. You're just placing a straight bet. What are you going to mm -hmm. say? Longer winter, shorter winter? What do you think? 
I'm betting that winter will come to an end on March 21st. Oh, you're no fun, Mike. Come on. Come <laughs> the only on. thing I like about it is I like I like the movie. Yes, of course. Out 30 years, 30 years ago. Yeah, I know. It came out. Bill Great Murray. movie. Yeah, awesome. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael. It'll be Groundhog Day tomorrow. We'll Early see you spring. again. Early spring. Early spring. Go with that. Yeah. All right. Thanks very see much. Ya. 619.